Go on, please. Once a backwater tournament too remote for even some domestic players to attend, the Australian Open's meteoric growth is partly owed to its consistent pursuit of innovation. This pioneering attitude down under puts them top of the list in terms of attendance, welcoming more fans through their gates than any other tournament. But in 2019, a few of the players levelled a number of accusations about the Happy Slam's latest change. In that year, the Australian Open signed a new five-year ball deal, changing from the American Wilson brand to the Japanese-made Dunlop. It drew little attention to the wider public, but certainly had the players talking. The accusations are somewhat warranted. Dunlop balls have traditionally been heavy. A ball's mass can range between 56 and 59.4 grams, with the Dunlop ball being somewhere towards the latter. Because of its weight, the ball stays lower in a slice. It also needs to be hit harder to generate the same pace due to its lower air pressure. The complaints may stem from players' acute awareness of such intricacies, just as they know if their string tension is off, their bag too heavy or their water bottles out of line. The deadness of a tennis ball is largely subjective, but it can be measured with regards to speed. Take the first serve speeds of the young German Alexander Zverev, for example. Zverev has one of the fastest serves on the circuit, Looking at his average serve speed at the 2019 Australian Open and comparing it to the previous year, it would seem the Dunlop ball gave him an advantage. Looking at the same serve over the duration of the 2019 season, this time accounting for all climate and court types, the Dunlop balls continue to give Zverev's serve an edge. The Monte Carlo Masters was a notable exception, but this can perhaps be explained by the uncommonly wet and cold conditions. On the whole, Zverev served 3 miles per hour faster on average with a Dunlop ball compared to any other, a clear advantage. However, John Millman, whose game style exclusively involves drawing opponents into longer baseline rallies, may disagree. His comment that the balls are pretty dead may have been a reference to the Dunlop ball's tendency to deteriorate or fluff up faster than other balls. Multiple players, analysts and coaches have voiced similar concerns. A fluffier, less pressurised ball creates more drag, meaning less spin and less pace. Taking Zverev's first serve data at the Australian Open as an example, this trend appears to be true. Before the ball change in 2019, Zverev's average first serve speed dropped around 2 miles per hour when serving with used balls as compared to new. Since using the Dunlop ball, the change in this value has been remarkable. Older balls are slower has always been a commonly held perception. However, an ITF-commissioned research paper found that, on average, first serves with new balls actually only hit the court a fraction of a second faster than those hit with used balls. It also found the server disproportionately wins 96.5% of games with new balls compared to 86.3% with used. One conclusion was that new balls convey much more of a psychological advantage than a material one. Further research comparing the Dunlop and Wilson ball concluded that, in a rally situation, despite the Dunlop ball displaying a higher level of pace straight out of the can, the ball itself deteriorates quicker and within three games actually plays slower than the Wilson. Whether the Dunlop ball is cheap or not is impossible to judge. The players can feel the Dunlop ball is heavier than the previously used Wilson, but the precise difference in the materials and construction used by the different brands remain trade secrets while public prices vary wildly, depending on which outlet you choose. What can be said is that balls tend to travel slower at night, and the slower the ball, the longer the rally. At the Australian Open, the semi-finals and finals are now played at night. Some argued this was a deliberate move to slow playing conditions and deliver more engaging matches during the highest viewership of the tournament. These slower conditions, coupled with a slower, heavier, fluffier ball suited certain players. One player in particular who would benefit from a more reactive ball is Rafael Nadal, but he has no complaints despite struggling in the latter stages of the tournament since the ball's introduction. While the ball clearly divides opinion and may suit certain players' game styles at different stages of its lifespan, everyone is going to have to get used to it. In 2019, the ATP announced Dunlop as its official ball sponsor meaning any tournament without a current sponsor would have to use the ball. Since 2005, the Australian Open had been using Wilsons. So why the change? 
Perhaps the five-year deal was a nod to nostalgia, with Dunlop celebrating the 50th anniversary of brand ambassador Rod Laver's 1969 Grand Slam victory. Or maybe because the Australian Open wanted to continue to distinguish itself from the other Grand Slams. Or could it have been a simple question of consistency? Perhaps the clue came later in the year when Tennis Australia's CEO Craig Tiley announced a new partnership with court surfacing specialists Greenset. For the first time, the exact same cushioned acrylic surface was now going to be in place on every court at every event taking place across the Australian summer calendar. This meant that in the lead-up to the 2020 Australian Open, players would not only be using the exact same balls, but also play on the exact same surface, an obvious attempt to keep the players happy and to quash any outspokenness this time around.